What's up guys, Bully Wee Plaza here. In this video I decided to explain what you can do and should do in order to improve the lag compensation or lag in general which you might experience in fast paced games like Black Ops 2. Most YouTubers only give you one tip per video but I will tell you everything in this one. The gameplay you're seeing is played on a host connection by the way. The first tip to improve your connection is that you should use a LAN cable and not a wireless connection to access the internet from your console for a more stable connection in game. The difference is noticeable and I never switch back to wireless LAN. On my computer I only use wireless because I don't need the best connection possible since I don't play games on it. Next, you should also open all ports on your router for your console only. If you want to know how to do this, check out my video on opening ports. It will be linked in the description. The advantage of doing this is that you will be able to get host more often. Another tip specifically to Call of Duty is setting your search preferences to best, which forces the game to only make you join games with low pings which contain players close to you so the lag compensation will be as minor as possible. On the Wii U this is only applicable on Team Deathmatch since the other game modes don't have enough players to allow the normal or best setting to return any results. The last and most obvious tip is upgrading your internet. This will improve your upload and download speed but not your ping which means that the only advantage you'll get is that the game selects you more often as the host. Since the lag compensation is ping based it won't change anything in that regard. What you shouldn't do is using a proxy server on your console because it slows down your upload rate, download rate and decreases your ping. It doesn't matter what you do on devices like the PC or your phone. Another misconception is that turning off theater mode helps to decrease lag. This is wrong because even with the turn off the game still reports the gameplays and when you turn it back on you'll be able to see them fully in your recent games even though you had theater mode turned off while you played them. It therefore does absolutely nothing positive connection wise. What does it mean when you have host? Well, it clearly gives you a faster hit registration on enemies which could be really useful to go on a tear. But don't get overconfident though, they can kill you just as fast. When having host, you won't get those short delays between your shots fired and bullets registered but overall it's not really an advantage, maybe even a disadvantage. I have bad games with host where I rage quit and also decent games. For some reason I never get great games which I only seem to get on a 3 bar connection. Yes, this game doesn't make any sense most of the time. Let's hope that other games are or will give connection bars a proper meaning again. Some people also say that you should play aggressively and rush hard to get good results in Black Ops 2 but for me this is exactly the wrong thing to do. It's much better to chill a little bit and to play similar to how I did in the video. These are the best tips I can give you guys. Everything else just depends on the game developer's way of handling the lag like the lag compensation in Call of Duty. The lag cannot be fully fixed so that no more bullshit happens since distances between players are too big but these tips will at least help you improve your experience as much as possible. For me personally things work out well about 80% of the time on Team Deathmatch. The game modes I get many bad games on are the ones with a little amount of active players. Since there is not much choice I get put into lobbies of people around the world therefore making the lag unbearable. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, favorite and subscribe.